yes, Mykonos. Guys, it's time to introduce you to my keto journey. I've, I'm, I'm sure this is the best place, the best opportunity to introduce you to my keto journey. So let's do it, finally. Okay, so I wrote down the main points I want to go through today. First of all, let's start with three main disclaimers. The first one is that I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not uh, a doctor. So I just want to share with you guys my whole life, my fitness journey, my nutrition, my workout, my uh, supplementation, everything. Because uh, I decided to start this fitness journey with all of you and I want to show you my vision of fitness, my vision of everything. So the first one is that. The second one, I won't talk about keto in a scientific way. I want to explain you how it works scientifically on your body. I won't talk about the details of keto. Why? Because you can find almost everything you want online. You can find uh, articles, books, videos on YouTube, and all you want to know about keto, you can easily find online. I suggest you to uh, look for uh, articles and topics uh, in English, because in US, uh, the keto diet is uh, definitely common than here. It's more used than here. So you'll find a lot of stuff in English instead of in Italian, but it's easy. So look down, go on Google, write keto, how keto works, and you'll find everything you want. Third one, I have to be sure you understand that I'm not following the classic keto diet. There are a lot of variation of keto diet. I'm following a diet that it's called anabolic diet. It's uh, like a keto variation. So I'm gonna explain you this. First of all, my keto journey started more or less for five months ago. I got my blood test and the results were were crazy. I don't know why, uh, maybe because it was too stressful, the diet was too complicated, I worked out a lot. Uh, it was not a great period for my balance, general balance and mind, body and stuff like that. So I got my blood test and the results were terrible. Okay, all the levels were strange, uh, nothing was fine. So I went to the doctor. The doctor told me, okay, uh, take this medicine, this pill, uh, stuff like that, but uh, also change your diet. Why don't you try the famous keto diet? He told me and I said, uh, no, no, please doctor, don't tell me this. I love uh, carbs. I'm following the classic bodybuilding diet. Uh, yeah, I, I need to be focused, I need to be strong. And he told me, okay, but I suggested this. So please, let's try for one or two months. I said, okay, it's for my physical health. So I have to do it. Okay, let's do it. Start with my keto diet. In general, we have to understand just how keto works and how it's different from our classic diet. On our classic diet, the diet that probably 80% of people follow, are based on carbs. It means that your body takes energy from carbs. So usually your daily caloric take is breaking down in uh, more or less 60% carbs, 30% protein, 10% fat. Okay, this is a classic diet, the one that usually everyone who works in fitness uh, use, but also the kind of diet all nutritionists usually give to people. So it's mainly based on carbs. Your energy comes from carbs. The keto diet works completely different. It's the opposite. Your body won't take the energy from carbs but from fats. So your uh, daily caloric intake is breaking down in 70% from fats, 20% from protein, and just 10% from carbs. It's totally different. How? Uh, because after a while, you don't give carbs to your body, your body thinks, okay, you are not giving me energy from carbs. I have to find the energy in another way. How? 
you are giving your body a lot of fats. So the body think, okay, let's take the energy from fats. So after a while, your body become adapted to fats. He transformed fats in ketones and use ketones like energy. This is where ketogenic diet name comes from, from a process called ketosis, where your body take energy from ketones. There are many kind of keto variation. The classic keto variation is the one that everyone, almost everyone know. You eat a lot of unhealthy fats. You eat a lot of saturated fats, bad fats. The classic diet, the classic keto diet is based on eating every kind of fats. You eat a lot of bacon, red meat, cooked oil, like cooked olive oil, cooked avocado oil, cooked uh, coconut oil, all, all these kind of saturated fats. This is the classic keto diet. Then there is a carnivore diet, for example. For example, in the carnivore diet, you just eat meat, red meat, every day, every meal, just based on meat. You are like a carnivore, like, a, like an animal, like a lion, okay? Then there is my variation. It's called the anabolic diet. Now I think uh, they changed the name in metabolic diet. And it's way different from the classic keto diet in some ways. This is how it works. It's not my variation, guys. It's like just the keto variation I'm following. It was from a doctor, and I don't remember the name, who studied this kind of keto variation like 20 years ago. And this is the kind of keto that my doctor suggested me to follow because I'm, I'm an athlete in some way, so I really work out a lot, uh, sometimes also twice a day, so I can't really follow the 100% classic keto diet. I have to follow this variation of keto diet. It's, it's better. So how it works. To become fat adapted, you take some time. You don't become fat adapted in a while, like in one, two days without eating carbs. Or your body takes a little bit of time to understand how to use fats as fuel instead of carbs. It's really a personal thing, like almost everything. It can take like two weeks, like for me, or a few months for a lot of people. There's a lot of ways you can understand when you finally are in ketosis, there are like blood tests or something like that. But for my experience, I can tell you, it's all in mind. You personally understand when you are on ketosis, how? Because when you start to eat with carbs for a while, for the first period, you are dead. You wake up, you are tired, you go to bed, you are starving, can't work out properly, you are weaker than before. Forget about being strong for in the gym for one or two weeks, okay? You are dead. After two weeks, in one day, I, I woke up and it was totally fine. I said, well, I was full of energy. I, I, I don't know, I felt great. In that moment, I understood I was on ketosis. My body started using fats instead of carbs as energy. So I felt great. This process is the same for every kind of ketogenic diet. Every kind of ketogenic diet needs uh, from two weeks uh, to few months uh, for other people to get fat adapted, to get into ketosis. In this anabolic variation, the variation I, I'm following, after this period you have to get back on carbs, but for a while. How it works? I usually eat in, in a keto diet, so just fats, protein, and under 30 grams of carbs a day. 30 grams of carbs, uh, guys, are really few. And the, these 30 grams of carbs, uh, they don't come from uh, pasta, rice, starches, or oatmeal. They just come from greens, from spinach, from broccoli, from asparagus, just from this kind of stuff. No starches at all. The other 70% fat comes from the good fats. I eat a lot of avocado yolks that I didn't use to eat. Before I used to eat uh, like uh, a lot of egg whites, 
but no yolks now I eat like in the morning uh, four eggs uh, with the yolks uh, so I told this I told you I eat uh, more or less uh, one avocado and a half a day uh, coconut oil that I never used uh, olive oil a lot of olive oil for example for lunch uh, when having my stick or my chicken with uh, veggies I put uh, five spoon of olive oil uh, raw obviously raw not cooked uh, but MCT oil, any kind of uh, good fat, and then uh, the 20-25% from protein, I just use every kind of protein I used to, to have, so uh, meat, fish, uh, chicken, eggs, uh, protein shake, uh, so it this way, with a lot of fats, no carbs, and the right amount of protein, for 5 to 6 days a week. On the 7th day, six or seven days depends i just follow one day but usually on this diet you have to follow two days of carb reload so you have get back on carbs for one day how if you used to have 70 percent of your calorie intake from fats on that day you're gonna have 70 percent from carbs just the 10 percent they used to have from carbs from fats and protein are always the same, a little bit less probably. So for one day you consume a lot of good carbs. I eat a lot of rice, pasta, oat in the morning, I go to the sushi, make a slice of cake, let nice cream, uh, but I try to get just from good carbs, like rice, but sometimes, oh, sure, sure, I eat like an ice cream or a cake because it's cool, it's great. So after the first period of the first phase where you have to get fat adapted, where you don't touch carb at all until you are on ketosis, then start the second phase, the one you can bring forward for one year, two years, three years, I'm following this kind of diet from five months, and I'm great, I'm fine in which you eat carbs just for one, two days, a lot of carbs. The other days of the week, from, for example, for me, from Monday to Friday or Saturday, I just eat a lot of fats, protein, and really few carbs from, especially from greens. I, I, I fell in love with uh, asparagus, you have to know, asparagus is a great keto mm, vegetable, and I love them, and they, Veronica hates me because I, I cook like asparagus uh, 10 times a week because I, I really love them. Pros and cons of this kind of keto diet and keto diet in general. I'm gonna start from pros, for sure. To start in this, my blood tests were perfect. I don't know why, I don't know how, but my blood tests were, perf were perfect. They was completely balanced, my skin, completely changed. I used to have like an, an I don't know what to call it, like an unhealthy skin, but my skin improved a lot. Thanks for fats, probably. I'm never hungry. When I used to be on my carbs-based diet, I felt like on a roller coaster. When I used to have my meal with carbs, I felt great. I felt so powerful. I, I, I wanted to, to go to the gym and I don't know, work out, uh, have fun, something like that. After two, three hours, after my meal, boom, I went down. I was completely tired. I wanted to get back on carbs again and then new meal. So after three hours, I ate again. Three hours, it was great. I felt great. I was great and then down again. And I wanted to sleep. It's, it works like that, you know. For example, when you have lunch and you eat like a plate of pasta like this, after the lunch, you are you feel great, but after, after two, three hours, you feel completely down. You, uh, you feel tired, you want to sleep. Uh, with the keto diet, never happen. You feel great all day long. You wake up, you're not hungry. You can skip the meal and, until lunch. You can fast until lunch. This is why usually when I wake up, I fast yeah, a lot of times. Uh, I always had my breakfast before the gym, now I don't. Because I wake up, I'm not hungry at all, I'm so powerful just after waking up. And I want to work out. After the workout, I eat my first meal. So, and I used to, to eat like five, six times a day. Now I eat uh, three, sometimes four times a day, no more. 
okay? And they always feel great. Another pro, very, very important, I think probably the one that you are interested in more, is that I lost a lot of body fat, a lot. I started my keto journey was around 12% body fat, okay? After three months, I was 7% body fat. And I still maintain that kind of body fat easily, really, really easily. If before I used to uh, to be all year long around 12% body fat, and then with the summer I got into 7%. Now I'm 7% from five months, and I felt great. But like everything, there are also some cons. Yes, I lost uh, a lot of body fat, but I lost. Uh, a lot of muscle as well. I used to weight like 95 kilograms. Now I am 84, 85 sometimes after my carb load, 86, but never more than 85, 86. Okay, I used to have to be 95, 97 sometimes. So yes, I lost probably four kilos of fats, five kilos of fats, um, two kilos of water, but I lost uh, three or four kilos of muscle as well. You can easily see, uh, for example, in this picture, it was, yes, 12% body fat, but it was 95 kilograms and it was huge. Now, if you see this picture, I was in the middle of my keto journey after two months of keto. I was skinny, I was flat. I felt great, eh? don't, don't, don't judge, I, I, I felt great. So leaner, but still strong. So I lost for sure a lot of muscle mass. Oh yes, with the performance. While I didn't notice a lot of uh, difference in the weight training, so when I lift weights, I don't really feel difference. I'm almost with the same weight I used before. Squatting, bench press, deadlift, I, I feel good, I feel great. I didn't lost a lot of power, a lot of strength, but everything changed with my metabolic workout, with my conditioning or in my CrossFit workouts, uh, I really felt a difference because with this kind of workout, you definitely, I can tell you, you definitely need carbs to give your best. So keep in mind this, if you love your CrossFit performance, if you are a CrossFitter, probably keto is not the right diet for you. But if you are, for me, like a weightlifting or bodybuilding, it's cool, it's fine. Okay, now the most important thing at all, keto and this variation as well, the anabolic keto diet, the one I'm following, it's not for everybody. Let's be honest, it's for few people. You have to understand this. Your body born with the ability to take energy from carbs. That's it. When you are a baby, your body takes energy from carbs. So to get fat adapted, to take energy from fat, it's not a natural style of eating. It's different. There are a lot of people like me, I always have been like a, a strong response to carbs. Like in the morning, like a lot of my friends, a lot of my colleagues used to eat like 150 grams of oats in the morning. With 50 grams, I was fine. I was completely fine. I was full. All my friends, people I know, are always craving for carbs. To have their pizza, to have their ice cream, to have their pasta. I never had this. I used carbs uh, for performance. I used carbs because uh, I, I wanted to get bigger, I want to get stronger, but not because I need them. This is very important, it's how you understand. If you are a person like me, that you don't really need in your mind carbs, so probably the keto is right for you. I'm sure about this, that I'm a, a right person for keto, because after two weeks, I went in ketosis. I was completely fine just after two weeks without the carbs. For a lot of friends, they tried keto, especially in LA, and they, they took like two months to get into ketosis. For two months, it felt like shit. Okay, for example, for Veronica, we tried it for two weeks. Uh, I would say, oh, probably, maybe you are like me. She always loved carbs, so it was difficult, but okay, let's try it. After two weeks, uh, she will felt like shit as well. 
that she was craving for carbs, tired, she always wanted to sleep. And uh, it's strange because without carbs, with high fats, she was gaining fat. It's crazy, I don't know how, but for me it was completely the opposite. So, if you think the keto diet would be fine for you, because like me, you are not so into carbs, ask to your doctor, ask to your nutritionist, your dietitian, if maybe you can try the keto or my variation of keto, the anabolic metabolic diet. But as I told you guys, it's not easy. I, I just wanted to show you, I, I, I took a lot of time to talk about this uh, topic because I'm afraid that uh, a lot of people will say, oh, keto diet is shit. At the same time, I'm afraid that a lot of guys will want to try the keto and probably it's not fine for them because it's, it's different. When you talk about nutrition, when you talk about something that it's not common, uh, you, you get a lot of critics and at, and at the same time, a lot of people want to make the same choice as you did. I don't want you to make any choice. I started this journey and I post on Instagram almost every day and want to be clear, real in what I post. So if I post that I'm eating two avocado a day and no carbs, I want to show it. We are going further with this uh, topic on keto about details in time. It was just an introduction and it was no easy. The video is so long and uh, it took me like, uh, I don't know, a lot of time to decide to make it. So we'll get into it. But uh, trust me, don't start the keto without uh, the support of your nutrition or dietitian because it's not easy at all and probably, maybe, it's not right for you. But today is uh, Saturday, no, today it's uh, Sunday. So yeah, I'm seven days without carbs. Tomorrow it's like time for my carb reload, for sure. I, need, I feel I need my carb reload. I don't crave in carbs at all. But I feel my body needs them. I'm so flat. Uh, I I need I need carbs. I know I know my body needs carbs. So I'm gonna eat. I hope that you like the video. And I hope you're waiting for the next one. Just comment down what you want to talk about. Know more about. Uh, let's see, guys. Have a great day.